Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Movie Monday. It is Good Friday as I'm recording this, and I am back from Australia for my holiday, so I can now watch more movies and record more videos for this channel and for other channels. So it's good to be back. I'm looking forward to the next couple weeks of episodes of this because I'm going to watch a couple new releases. Next week, I'm going to watch Roadhouse, and today I'm watching Ricky Stanicki. This is uh, number four on Prime. Uh, they've got like a chart of like most watched things, I think. And uh, Roadhouse is number one, so we'll get to it. Invincible's number two. I need to watch the second season. I've not even started the first part of the second season. Probably good that I waited as well, considering how long it's taking for that series to come out. But yeah, this one stars John Cena. I'm a wrestling fan, um, so I like seeing him, you know, obviously wrestling a lot of it, you know you're acting you're playing a character um so it makes sense that some wrestlers would be very good actors and batista is the best one i think he's incredible the rock's entertaining and john cena i think is pretty damn good as well i think his best roles are comedy which is what this movie is um apart from peacemaker peacemaker i think is incredible like obviously that's comedic as well but like there's more to that i think he plays a great role in that one and that's beyond the comedy but apart from peacemaker which is he's really good in that one but generally speaking, he's best when it's comedy. Like, th that's when he's funniest, that's when he's most entertaining, and that's when he's best at his acting, in my opinion. Um, please make a change my perspective of that, because I'm just like, okay, there's more to him than comedy. <laughs> there's more to his acting than comedy, so. Yeah, but anyway, this one's about uh, a few childhood friends. Um, they, after it, it says in the uh, synopsis that they pull a prank that goes wrong and they create this imaginary friend called Ricky Stanicki to get them out of trouble. It's basically like a big alibi they use to lie about something and they use this person called Ricky Stanicki who no one's met. They use him as an imaginary friend. Well, he's, he's imaginary to them, but to other people, he's like a person that exists. <laughs> and they use this person as an alibi basically to get away with things. Then eventually this goes too far and they're adults, it starts when they're kids, then they think, okay, let's hire someone to play Ricky Sinicki, and that is John Cena. So John Cena's someone they pay to pretend to be this person that they made up in their minds. So it sounds funny, I've seen the trailer, it's very bizarre, um, but it looks hilarious. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and let's do this. Also, actually, before I watch this, I love the video, like, obviously when movies come out, you, you get cast members doing interviews, and YouTube included as well, not just press tours. Um, there was one that was really funny. So like they were naming guilty pleasure movies and everyone named something like uh, Finding Nemo or something and something else. And John Cena's like, but that's a good movie. Yeah, it's made for kids, but it's a good movie. It's for family. And he's just like, and, and I remember someone tweeted like, John Cena understands the actual concept of guilty pleasure because Finding Nemo is not a guilty pleasure. Yes, it's a kid's movie. But anyway, that's not even the funniest part. He mentions something behind the green door or something. And it's a pornographic movie from like the 80s or something. That's what he mentioned as his guilty pleasure movie. <laughs> I don't know, just like there's more to it in the actual clip. Um, you can probably find it somewhere. I saw it on Twitter uh, or X as you call it now. I was just like... This guy, man, <laughs> this guy has some interesting humor, even outside of his movies. This is what I'm saying. This guy is funny. And that's probably why his uh, comedy movies are some of his best work. So uh, anyway, yeah, let me actually watch the movie. Um, again, it's just me telling you my thoughts. So you might get some thoughts throughout the movie and a short review at the end. That's how these videos work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, trust me, if I didn't run four channels, then I'd probably consider like doing mini reactions, but... There is just, I do not have the time. So it is what it is. I'm not rich enough to pay people to do it. So <laughs> I feel like I've said this enough times, but obviously you get new new viewers more often uh, with certain videos. Because so, some videos do really well, like the Kung, Kung Fu Panda videos, but that's probably because the new one's coming out, which is out now, which I'll be watching soon. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, also, there's a channel called Sir Davidoff. Over there, I do all my vlogs. So if you want my proper thoughts on a movie, then go on that channel and uh, I'll go to the cinema, I'll watch it and I'll vlog myself and I'll like, I'll tell you my thoughts after I come out of the cinema, out of the theatre reaction. So the best place to see me review brand new cinema movies is on Sir Davidoff, which is my vlogging channel. And you will see videos about Godzilla vs Kong, um, Frozen Empire, Ghostbusters and Kung Fu Panda 4. 
coming very very soon sooner than you might think and you might see them before this video actually so but on this channel you'll get like a one minute short review so a bit different not as detailed as my main review on my vlogging channel just so you know but I'll probably share them on like community posts on community posts I'll probably uh share those videos out. I don't know why I don't already because they are connected to this channel anyway I said like five minutes ago that I'm gonna start watching a movie so let me start watching it I'll tell you what I think why does Amazon Prime have ads in the middle of the movie since when was this did they add this on because it wasn't there before it was just before the movie not during they've YouTubed the Amazon Prime app this is a very interesting movie it's got a deeper plot than I imagined um, so they hire him because they start to get caught up in their lies I'm not gonna spoil it because obviously it's a new movie but um, they hire him because they kind of need to just to like prove that he's real <laughs> obviously because he's not and uh, let's just say he gets too used to the idea of playing this character let's just say uh, Rod's life isn't particularly great so he and Ricky Snake is this really nice and cool guy who does these amazing things so in his mind it's just like oh I kind of don't want to be a loser anymore, I want to be Ricky, <laughs> which is a problem for the guys that hired him, including uh, Zac Efron's one of the actors, the other guy is, uh, what's his name, he's the ginger guy from the Bad Friends podcast, which is a great podcast by the way, one of the funniest podcasts on uh, on all of YouTube, um, what's his name, what's, what's ginger guy's name, <laughs> I'm calling him ginger guy, Andrew Santino, he's, uh, he's a comedian, he's an actor. I'm pretty sure he's all of those before YouTube anyway, but I know him from the Bad Friends podcast. I'm pretty sure I've seen films he's been in, I just didn't, you know, I don't remember it was him. But I know more about him now and the other guy who's in the podcast with because of their podcast. But anyway, he's a funny guy, so he, him and Zac Efron are two of the three uh, guys who hire, hire um, Stanicki. So like, yeah, uh, anyway, the point is, for, for these three characters it's a problem because they hired him for a short term and it turns out oh he kind of wants more and then it also turns out that the Nikki has a shady past which they can get caught up in so yeah they gotta try and manage the Nikki and all the lies they're telling like because they got <laughs> two of them have got I mean all three of them are in, in relationships uh one's one's married uh the other two are pretty serious so it's just like they've lied to their loved ones <laughs> essentially their entire lives and they're still going and it's getting more complicated because there's a, they actually got Nicky now, but it's just an actor playing him, and it's just keeping up all these lies. It's crazy. So that's as much as I can say about spoiling it. But I'm really enjoying it. Like it's like it's it's deeper than I expected. <laughs> I expected just a simple comedy, but this movie is actually a lot better than what I would expect it to be. So fair enough. It's certainly thickening. The plot is thickening as it goes. I don't know how it can get crazier. But it just gets crazy every single scene. So <laughs> I'm intrigued. How long left? There's 23 minutes left. So I've watched an hour and a half of it. So it's almost two hours of the movie. Um, I'm very intrigued to see how this ends. I love how it's recommending me Roadhouse straight after I finished. <laughs> so I see what you're doing. Yeah, that was good, man. Uh, the ending was a little bit... Um, I wouldn't say anticlimactic. Like, it was a good ending. I feel like it, it worked for the story. But there's certain aspects of the plot where I felt like, oh, was that it? <laughs> It's just that, yeah, there's a, there's a few different plot lines going on, let's just put it that way. And at least one of them just like, oh, so so that's how that ends. That's how that arc ends. Interesting. Um, it did feel like a little bit slightly rushed at the end. Like, a lot of things happened within like five minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall good film. Um, I like what they did. Uh, that was uh, pretty good. I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10 as a rating. I had a good time. Uh, generally, the cast was good. Uh, no one was really like ev I think everyone was a, a good fit for the role they were playing so the acting was all great story I think worked really well and yeah I don't know what else to say really <laughs> uh, yeah it was just a really well done movie it's a well put together cast and I really like what they did so yeah I, you could you can tell they had a lot of fun on set <laughs> they had a lot of fun on set filming this you could you could just tell uh, there's so much that happens both funny and serious and uh it makes for a very bizarre but surprisingly well done story so yeah this is your boy david off please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and goodbye let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you
you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it. 